Hi guys, welcome to Empty Ready. This is the Aurora portal. So similar to a Tesla portal, however, you'll see that it's got this new LED display in the center. So if you're familiar with the boxes, it's a clean sweep box. So there's no static, no hiss. All you get is a very clean, clear cut ITC device. So we'll start by showing you how it sounds. So the box has got a set pace. And um, the reason it's set to this pace is because we want to try and form a complete sentence. So as we add reverb, you'll see that it begins to merge all of the snippets into one long continuous message. So the button in the middle, this is what we call the scan and store button. So if we turn around to the back of the radio, you'll see this little window which is showing you how many channels are stored. So I'll just turn the volume down. So if I press and hold that, you'll see that the screen begins to circle. If I turn the volume back up now, you'll hear that it actually goes through the full FM broadcast frequency between 88 and 108 megahertz. And then it will store all the frequencies or all the stations so it will stop on each one and store it so it's scanning and storing so while it's doing that uh, it's, it's obviously best if you do that outside next to a window or next to a window so it picks up as many uh, channels as possible so it will usually store between 15 and 30. If you're on coastal regions, probably be a bit, a bit less. But if you're in a built up area, you'll get a really good number of, of channels. So in this instance, we've got 15 and that will reverse sweep through those stored channels. So inside the device, you've got a retractable aerial. So you can desensitize it or you can increase the level of channels you get when you sweep. If you really want to extend it, you can actually wrap a little bit of cable around there, say about two meters, and stretch it out somewhere to a dipole antenna. Uh, no need for crystal antennas and all these gimmicks that you see, just uh, plain and simple here. So when the device is not in use, it can be switched off, back on again, and it'll carry on scanning. So it takes four AA cells to power the FM pod. And then we've got four for the uh, for the Aurora. So the Aurora again, it's got on off. And then we've got this touch button. So you just touch that. And um, what will happen when you touch that? I'll try and demonstrate that. Is that it, it will uh, actually scan. Should I say scan? It'll, it'll go through the different types of effect on the aurora so it's like a random mode there's about 17 modes so there's several random modes and then uh, there's several pattern modes as well so it's really quite effective when it's uh, in the dark So this mode just sweeps around and changes colour as well between the sweeps, so that's quite a steady one. And then uh, if we switch it again, you'll see that's a random one. You can so it'll just fade through all the colours. Live 
it's all for you. So very simple to use. You coughing on the phone. And ready to pre-order now. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you don't know the website link, uh, you should be able to see it there. It's infraready.co.uk. So that's I-N-F-R-A-R-E-A-D-Y.co.uk. So an established online ghost hunting equipment specialist that's been trading now since 2011.